These are times Mike Tyson brutally knocked out opponents with just one punch. Oh, 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 a Number 12, July 21st, 1989. Iron Mike met Carl Williams in the ring, a giant from New Jersey who seemed very tough considering his physical advantages. But Tyson defeated him in just 93 seconds with a powerful left hook that sent the giant to the canvas. Number 11. Mike Tyson vs. Mark Young, December 27, 1985. On the night Tyson fought Young, he again demonstrated his ability to end a fight with just one powerful punch. A right hand this time that shocked people watching. Number 10. After Tyson's defeat to Buster Douglas in Rail, first fighting the man who beat him twice as an amateur, Henry Tillman. Despite beating Tyson then, right the after beating him, Tyson would continue his comeback, fighting against Alex Stewart next. Stewart was almost six and a half feet tall and was considered to be a tough opponent for Tyson. And before we show you the brutal one-punch knockout, it's worth mentioning he was knocked down two times before that. To keep throwing punches, to try to keep Tyson occupied. Tyson lands a right and another. Okay, let's go. Remember, Stewart never went down against Evander Holyfield. But when he was sent to the canvas a third time, it was over. Something or else is just a question of Number 8. Eight years earlier, when Tyson was just 19 years old, he brutally knocked out another giant called Michael Johnson with a powerful right hand. Before he landed that, however, he hit Johnson with a left hook to the body that sent him to the canvas. Once Johnson got up, Tyson delivered the final blow. Number 7. After beating Johnson, he fought Robert Coley a month later, which ended up being another brutal one-punch knockout victory. He gives it away height. He's given away height as well. That's 6-3. Left hook. Good night. What a great shot. Number 6. What better fight to show next than a glance back at 1999 when Tyson fought former heavyweight champion Francois Botha. It was Tyson's first fight after the controversial rematch against Evander Holyfield, where he was disqualified for biting Holyfield's ears. Upon returning to the ring, many wondered if Tyson still had his brutal knockout power. And on the night he fought Botha, it was very clear. During Tyson's comeback after Holyfield, he used drugs such as marijuana and cocaine, which he revealed years later. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> In one fight, these drugs caused Tyson to be very aggressive and almost made him knock out a referee. But before we go there, it's time to look at Buster Douglas. In February 1990, Mike Tyson entered the ring against James Buster Douglas. The fight against Buster would be Tyson's first ever defeat, marked as the biggest upset in boxing history. Despite that, it's still worth mentioning as Tyson landed a powerful one-punch knockdown that shook Buster. In the 10th round, Buster knocked Tyson down for the first time ever. Unable to get up, Buster became the new heavyweight champion of the world. Number 4. Mike Tyson vs. Clifford Etienne, 2003 
The right hand is what got Tyson victorious in this match. Tyson threw countless powerful punches at Etienne as the fight started, which made him clench. Another powerful punch from Tyson's right hand knocked Etienne out and ended the match. In 1985, Tyson had his first fight without his coach Cus D'Amato. His opponent was Eddie Richardson. Just eight seconds after the opening bell, Richardson was knocked down. Richardson tried to survive the end of the round, but was unable after Tyson threw a powerful left hook that sent Eddie back to the floor. Before we show Tyson's most aggressive fight in which he brutally knocked down an opponent in the opening bell and then hit a referee, let's go back to 1986 when Tyson's young power took some time to be effective. He fought Steve Zoski, and while he hoped for another quick first round knockout, his opponent seemed to be tougher than usual. His jab is just an awesome weapon all his opponents. Frank, Mike Perkins, Benny Knossi, but he's never been there. And just to get in the center of this 18-foot ring and keep moving. In the third round, Tyson's punches were taking a toll on Zoski, and when he slowed down for a slight second, Tyson delivered a left hook which sent him to sleep. There is a solid shot. And while Tyson's training clearly gave him this brutal power, Let's take a look at what happens when Tyson fights using drugs. Tyson has spoke out about his younger self, explaining how he was often on drugs such as marijuana and cocaine during his later fight years. The year 2000 was no exception, and these drugs made Tyson very aggressive. Tyson, who was 34 years old at the time, met Lou Savaris in the ring. Savaris was still part of Tyson's comebacks, and in the opening round, Tyson immediately knocked him down with a brutal left hand. Within seconds, down goes Savaris. Savaris was able to get back up, but was met with a furious assault from Tyson. The referee attempted to stop the fight, but Tyson continued to hammer away at Savaris, taking down the referee in the process. Tyson's aggression was so uncontrollable, his entire team had to enter the ring to calm him down. Even Tyson doesn't know if it's been stopped. Well, stop the fight or what? If you enjoyed watching Tyson knock out opponents with one punch, then you'll enjoy this video on the screen right now.